going on, Aqua Force? Welcome back to the Watch It With McQueen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back, man. Today is the top of the week. Monday, okay? Hope you guys are having an excellent one, man, okay? At least better than the person we're about to watch right now, okay? You guys have seen the title. You've seen what's going on. Yes, some woman was out inside of a damn grocery store, and she got skated on, okay? I guess there was a dude walking around, you know what I'm saying? Beating off. I don't know how he was able to do this. Okay? But I must say I'm impressed, right? Walking around in the end of the damn grocery store, beating off. Right? Okay? She just happened to walk in the line of fire and got hit with some skate, okay? Apparently on her back, okay? So the whites are gonna go ahead and uh, explain to us exactly what is going on. And, uh, you know, we'll get to the bottom of this together, of course. Okay, but before we go ahead and go into this, I just want to hope and say and wish you guys, again, that you guys are having a great Monday. Make sure to stay productive. Make sure to get what you need done, done. Focus. Okay? Because this is the most important day of the week. If you get everything done today and you come in strong, okay? Not coming like this guy strong, okay? Save your nut, right? Save your nut. But that is part of doing everything correctly. If you do everything correctly today and you come in strong, okay, the rest of the week, the tone has now been set. Watch. I'm trying to tell you. Because if you if you use today to just mess around and not do nothing, you are going to do the same exact thing the rest of the week. I promise you. The mindset turns into, oh, you know what? Yesterday I didn't do that much, you know. I guess it's fine if I do it the same thing tomorrow, okay? Then the next day is, ah, oh, you know what? You know, I didn't do anything for the first two days. I kind of survived, so I mean, I guess it's not that. I guess it's okay for me to chill and do that too. Again on Wednesday. No! Okay, and then it goes on so, so, so on and so forth. And then you find yourself at the end of the week inside of your room looking up at the scene like, damn, bro, I didn't get nothing done. I, I want to reach my goals. I want to reach this and this and this and this and this. When in reality, it is nobody's fault but yours. Okay? However, on the other hand, if you set the tone by working hard, okay, on Monday, you're going to want to at least meet that or top that for the rest of the week. That's just how it goes. Now, whether or not you, you actually do that is up to you, just like anything else in life. But you have a way higher chance of having a way more productive fulfilling week if you use today to go hard. So remember that, all right? Let's go ahead and find out how this woman got skeeted on. Well, we begin tonight with that disturbing story in Shambly, and we do want to warn viewers, uh, the details may be considered graphic. Good evening, I'm Russ Spence. I'm Courtney Bryant. Shambly police say a man is accused of performing a act on himself and leaving bodily fluids on a woman at Whole Foods. Well, Fox News, Mary Smith is live outside Chambly Police Headquarters after speaking with the victim tonight. Mary? Yeah, that's right. The victim says this happened during what was... I'm sorry, bro. This is funny. This is funny, okay? After speaking with the victim tonight, okay? It's, it, it's just funny how when we're using the word victim in reference to someone who got skated on. <laughs> It's funny, okay? I'm sorry. It's funny. Nobody died. Nobody got nobody got hurt, okay? You just got skated on, right? So it's not like I can laugh at this, okay? It's comedy. This is something straight out of a damn comedy skit. It really is. I'm sorry, okay? You can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me it's something straight out of a movie, for real. Who? I don't know. Is this the first man to do this to somebody? was supposed to be a routine trip to Whole Foods, but the unthinkable happened. Horrified and enraged. Just no words. Disgusted. Dr. Sabine Lovell, a plastic surgeon here in Metro Atlanta, is still processing what happened to her during a trip to this Whole Foods on Peachtree. <laughs> That's a damn shame. So you would expect something like this to happen more in like a, a low end, uh, I guess, grocery store, right? You would expect this to happen in like maybe a Ralph's or, a, you know, uh, you know, an Albertsons or Vons, okay? Something like that, right? Maybe a Walmart, okay? Maybe a Walmart, right? 
But Whole Foods, I mean, every time I go to Whole Foods, I be seeing some baddies in there. I be seeing some some girls walk around with some thumpers, and I'm saying a healthy thumpers because you know all the women in there are looking. They're probably you know more focused on their health, and they probably go to the gym because why else are you at Whole, Whole, Whole Foods? I mean, it's called Whole Foods. You're not out here eating processed BS because it's called Whole Foods, right? So I say that to say, every time I go to Whole Foods, I be seeing nothing but, you know, healthy people, essentially, right? So for the fact that there was a dude out here in, in such a mindset, inside of Whole Foods, uh, that he, he wanted to beat off, okay? You, that's not something you see every day, okay? Like I said, you, you would expect that to happen like a Walmart, okay? No one would expect a guy to be inside of Whole Foods beating off, okay? And skating on people. No one would expect that. That's funny. I'm sorry. You can call me what you want. It is funny. You know it's funny. Okay? They call him the skater. We got the dealer and the skater. Okay? He's skating everywhere. Everybody watch out. Don't get skated on. Okay? Boulevard in Shambly Saturday. I was going to pick up a couple things. I see this gentleman walking down the aisle who's pretending to be shopping and he's holding a basket and he looked kind of like a normal gentleman, like late 20s, early 30s, nothing like extra suspicious about him. She says she then reached for a bag of chips but felt something on her back. So I bent over to grab the chips and as I was doing that, I felt something like wet and warm on my back. And so I grabbed my, I put my hand on the small of my back and then I saw that it was like this gooey, you know, white substance and I turn around and I see this guy looking at me and then he zips his pants up. Lovell tells Fox 5 once she realized what happened, she changed. <laughs> Bro, is that not funny? I'm sorry. Is that not funny? She said she walked in and she was inside the aisles and it looked like a normal ass dude. Hey, normal ass dude. She said she went to, hey, ain't nothing suspicious about her, okay? And she bent over to get a bag of chips, and he saw his opportunity. He said, God damn that ass back. Ah! She said she bent over her bag of chips and felt something wet on her back. She turned around and he said, That is hilarious. I'm sorry. That's funny. Okay? He saw an opportunity to state and he took it. Okay? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm actually impressed with his quick draw skills, okay? He's got the perk, okay? I'm the highest prestige. Quick draw on prestige, okay? Ah! Okay, that's impressive. That's a very hard feat, okay? No pun intended. It's a very, it's a very hard feat to pull off, okay? To skate on command like that, I mean, you know, if she said that she saw the guy looking normal, and then it only takes, what, half a second for you to bend over to grab a bag of chips? And he pulled his thing out and got a, got a skate out that quick? I mean, that's, I mean, is that not impressive? Okay. Like I said, hey, man, like, I'm not happy that it happened to her. But it is funny. Okay. Ace the man before calling police. I wanted to draw as much attention as possible to the situation so that there would be a lot of witnesses. Shambly police say a witness saw the man drive off in a black Kia. Investigators tell Fox 5 they identified a person of interest and the investigation is ongoing. This was broad daylight on a Saturday. I'm sure he's done this before or this could escalate to something more like paper. So I want to make sure that this goes on his record and it follows him. And a spokesperson with Whole Foods says that they are cooperating with the police investigation. We're live in Shambly, Mary Smith, Fox 5 News. Just truly so disturbing, Mary. I'm really sorry that that woman had to go through that. I'm sorry. It's funny. It is funny, okay? Now, like I said, you know, she said that uh, she doesn't want the man to be out here doing some, some graping, okay? Or doing anything extra out. And neither do I. I want that man, I want to make that clear that I am not an advocate for such acts. However... Okay, you cannot tell me that this whole concept and this whole scenario is funny. It is funny. It's funny. Sorry. Okay. I hope that this woman, you know, uh, gets the therapy she needs. I hope she does something to 
cope with the fact that she got skated on in 0.5 seconds, okay? That's just, that, that's gotta, that, that's gotta keep her up at night, right? <clears throat> so I hope she figures that out. But something tells me she'll be fine, all right? She'll be just fine. I mean, it's not like she ain't, but it, it's not like she ain't got skated on before, right? Anyways, okay? Y'all let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, man, all right? Someone has got to stack the skater. Who will be the skater's neck victim, okay? We got the diddler and the skater. We are literally building up real life DC villains out here, okay? I don't know if y'all seen the Diddy apology. I'm, I gotta react to that too. The Diddy apology is crazy, okay? The diddler. Y'all let me know what you guys think about the skater, man, all right? What would you do if you got skated on inside of a damn grocery store? What would you do, okay? You bent over to get a bag of chips, and all of a sudden you got netted on. What, what, what would you do? Let me know in the comment section, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.